Hello everybody, welcome to another mod showcase. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing like a, not really the top five best mods, but definitely five of the mods I use in my single player campaign, which I really think could either boost your, 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 your experience or maybe um, some of them you may not like, some of them may be a little bit too much uh, for, for some people's playthroughs, but I definitely want to show you these, these five mods um, and show you what they have to offer because they, they do boost the experience a little bit. Some of them make it a little bit easier, um, a little bit easier to play through. Some of them add um, aspects of the game which were in previous games, some of them add uh, just nice little boosts which um, should should be in the game and some of them add you know just nice little effects uh, so let's hop in there uh, I'll introduce each mod as I go in uh, as, as it as it comes across or comes along sorry uh, and each one of the mods will be in the description below in order of how I present it so without further ado let's get into it and uh, start with the first mod okay so here we are we've loaded in um, so I think the first mod we'll do, because there's three mods which have to do with actually being in battle. So I think the first one we'll do is one which we don't have to be in battle for. And that is simply respec companions in towns. So this is a really good feature, uh, well, featured mod. It's brand new. It literally came out, I think, either today or yesterday. Uh, I, I saw it, I quickly swooped it up and I was like, yes, this is incredible. So when you recruit your brother, uh, if we quickly go on into party... Not part, uh, no, character. When you recruit your brother, you get uh, to basically assign whatever uh, attribute points he has. You literally get to create him however you want him to. So, for example, he's good in pole arms and one handed, so you get to go through and you can pick what skills he has in those trees, which is really useful. However, with companions, they just kind of come with whatever like they will be good in certain areas like for example uh sealing the she-wolf here is really good at uh, two-handed pole arms and one-handed um and she's really good at, at, at athletics however i didn't originally get to choose what she chose into athletics you know she's good at she's good at, at athletics but she could have picked this which really only uh, uh, increases um smithing uh, it's like a buff to smithing this one so it's a, it's a bit of a weird one um I mean, there is also it increases your prisoner size limit by five, so it does it does help a little bit with uh, you know making you uh, be able to have more prisoners uh, and reduces their chances of escaping. However, it's it's more of a a, a, a smithing uh, skill more so than it is a, a an athletic skill. So what this mod allows you to do is if I quickly go in here, we'll go to the tavern and we'll click Yelin the healer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll recruit her. And what this mod allows you to do is if we quickly go on to character, we can see that Yilu the healer has no points, no free attributes, no free um, focus points. And she's already got randomly assigned, so she's she's okay at one-handed, and she's got basher and swift strike. Now, when have you ever seen an AI really shield bash? Yet the AI has chosen this one as its preference. Now, deflect... Well-handed weapons you wield uh, have their handling increased by 20%. Instantly, so much more better than shield bashing. AIs currently don't real sh really shield bash. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen an AI shield bash. So the AI having this skill is completely pointless. So what we can do, and this applies for any town, and this applies for any uh, companions, you can go into here, you go to the tavern, and you can click Companion Respect Office. You click that, respect one of your companions, and we'll click Yulian the Healer. So after clicking here, it will say Yulian the Healer has 17 attribute points and 15 focus points available. So if we go back into character, go back onto Yulian the Healer, as you can see, now she has a 17 points and 15 points. So we can then respec. We could, to be fair, rechange this if we didn't want her to be one handed. We could put everything into two-handed and just make her an absolute powerhouse when it comes to two-handed however I, I think i'm still going to keep her down the 100 tree and uh, now i can choose deflect uh, and again here we can make it so she swings faster or if i wanted her to be uh, have an axe or a, or a mace which i i do like my companions to have axes axes are, are pretty pretty naughty in my opinion then now i can click this which before she did have the two percent more swing speed so it really does give you a, a, a different 
boost really to a uh, to the game, which I feel should be in the game. I feel this aspect of the, it should already be in the game, and who knows, it may come to the game. However, until it does, or if it does, uh, this mod is super simple, and this is all it adds. And this is why I don't think these mods warrant their own videos, but this is why I'm putting them into a bit of a collection of mods which I really do enjoy. And this one is p beautiful. This is this is so nice because it allows you to get any companion and spec them out how you want them to be more so than how they're just utterly, automatically generated uh, to you. So with that done, um, that is the companion respec in cities or towns. Uh, again, modern's mod will be in the description and we'll uh, move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to the second, third and fourth mod, kind of, uh, all at the same time. Uh, we'll do one at a time, but all of these mods have something to do with being in a battle. I'll try and cover them, cover them all in this battle. Currently, we are in slow motion, which has something to do with one of the mods. Uh, but I think, first off, we'll start off with the uh, minimap mod. So, as you can see in the top left, you can see a, a minimap. Um, in Warband, you used to be able to, in the original game Warband, you used to be able to press backspace, and it would bring up uh, where the enemies are. You literally it'd bring up a minimap itself. You'd see where the enemies are. Uh, what kind of troops they've got? I think there's a horse actually running at us. Sure. Uh, what kind of troops they've got, and you know where where the main focus of the units are. You know where the cavalry is, where the horse archers are, stuff stuff like that. In this game, pressing backspace just highlights your units. You don't really get a mini map. In fact, you don't get a mini map. Now, what this game does give you is the uh, alt function, which allows you to see the general consensus of where enemy forces are. So, for example, holding down alt, I can see that there's a horse archer 80 meters away. Cav over there, 230 meters away. One cav over there, 240, and the, the main, main infantry, 230 meters away. Uh, I'm hoping someone's going to kill this, <laughs> this lone horse archer, unless he's going to run away. He's starting to turn the back, I think. Um, and so yeah, so it's it's a nice function, but once the enemies actually get into combat uh, and the troops spread out, that general theme really loses accuracy you know it says 24 but the 24 won't be where that is if they spread out and you've got some infantry over here fighting you've got some infantry over here fighting that 24 will be a lot more centralized uh, than what the actual accuracy of the units will be it doesn't separate out for example if 10 go over there and uh, the other 14 head over here it doesn't separate out and say 10 over there 14 over there it still uses a consensus of this there's 24 troops there and so sometimes it can be quite difficult to actually decide where you need to be where your troops are actually you know fighting and uh, where's the best where's the best place for you to be so what this mod actually does is well adds a minimap and as you can see my troops are in blue uh, i've got my little black cone uh, to signify me when i zoom in it gets a, a bit of a tighter tighter cone as well as uh, so you can really see which direction you're looking and which uh, direction the enemies are my, uh, my my dudes are in blue. I believe allies are in green and enemies are in red. Now, I I'm actually going to show you uh, uh, the other two mods in a different battle because I'm going to have to rely on uh, them running away here. So let me just uh, let me just cause them to uh, flee. Uh, now, I am using the bandit militia mod, which I have covered before. Uh, so these guys, even though they are just looters, they, they won't be running all too much. Let me uh, just get rid of these boys. There we go. My swing speed is pretty insane. Alright, let me see if I can take out their leader, because that's probably what's going to keep them in. I believe it's you. I missed. <laughs> you. There you go. That's most of them running. Okay. So, as you can see from the ones which are running on the minimap, let me just uh, lose focus. The red ones, you can see, are still in battle. If you look top left, you can see the red ones are still in battle. There's the uh, horse archer there still kicking about, and there's nine infantry troops. However, now there are like a weird pale orangey color, which signify which troops are actually running away. So, again, I can't remember how many times I've been in the midst of a battle, and this especially, sorry, <laughs> just for, uh, especially with maps where it's like heavily dense forest. This, this is so such an issue when it's really heavily dense with forest. I've been looking for where the main fight is. Uh, I can hold down alt 
Uh, but that doesn't help me, like I say, once the actual main fight happens, that doesn't really help me signify where the main battle is actually taking place. I need to know where I'm needed most. And I don't know how many times I've been chasing uh, a cavalry, for example, my own cavalry chasing after a dude, and we've been running over here, and I'm like, okay, well, cavalry's chasing after someone, there must be someone over here, to find out they've been chasing maybe two recruits which are fleeing the battlefield. And I'm just like, <laughs> What's the point? I'm not needed there. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to be there. What this mod allows me to do is really see where the main forces are, where the enemies who are still actually fighting are, and where I should try and get to. So we just won there. Um, so yeah, it's a really, it's a really cool mod. So it's super simple. Again, something which may be added in the future. I'm not too sure if they will, and uh, maybe not to this degree. Um, but it's, it's definitely got, its, it's definitely got its uses. Now there are other options. Now if I press L. It brings up a um, a bit of a configuration menu. So let's go into battle minimap. So here you can actually customize it a little bit. You can turn it on and off. As you can see there in the background, you can see me turn it on and off. Um, there's a lot more uh, different uh, options for it. For example, I can choose where it is. If I don't want it top left, I could move it across. Uh, I could move it down <laughs> off, off screen, so to speak. Uh, I can also choose the resolution. Uh, and there's a lot more uh, the uh, opacity to make it a little bit more see-through so if i'm fighting and i don't want it to be as in my face as what it is i can do that and you can see how it's a lot more see-through if you really don't want it to be as as in your face and you know as, as like oh the enemy's right here you can make it a lot more um invisible and a lot more <laughs> <laughs> tolerable if, if that's uh, to your preference like i say there's, there's a, so many different options here You've got the foreground, you've got multiple different uh, opacity uh, settings. One thing I would like uh, is a option to choose the colors. Now that is, again, something which definitely could come in the future. Um, that's fine, that's sort of about the uh, camera mod. Uh, this is definitely something uh, which could come in the future. However, right now, it can be a little bit difficult to understand which enemies are fleeing because unmounted horses also appear on the map. Now you can't see any because they've all run off the map already. Uh, but unmounted horses also show as a bit, uh, like the, the color of an unmounted horse is slightly, slightly darker than a, uh, a retreating troop. So sometimes you can get mistaken. You could be chasing down a, what you'd think is a retreating troop. Uh, and sometimes you just run into a, a horse, which is just minding its own business, <laughs> trying not to get killed in the battlefield. And you're like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> So I would love an option to change the color. There are other mini maps, uh, mini map mods out there, but this is the one I use uh, and I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So uh, yeah, there's, there's, uh, that's one of the in-game battle mods. Let's hop on to the uh, other two. One of them will be super quick to show you and the other one is a camera mod. So uh, let's quickly hop over to another battle. Okay, so here we are in the next battle. Uh, so this, I'm going to showcase, first of all, the camera mod, which is really good. It can be used alongside uh, the RTS mod. Uh, which is actually the RTS camera mod for it. Um, I'm not too sure if the functions really apply like that. I haven't really t tested out that too much, but I use it for um, cinematic shots uh, as well as um, uh, thumbnails and uh, taking screenshots and stuff like that. So it really, really is a nice mod if, you, if you're a content creator out there or if you're just looking for some nice... <laughs> okay, I think some... I think a notification just came through. I just got a new sub! <laughs> um... <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Sir <laughs> Um What was I saying? <laughs> oh no. This so uh, yeah. This this mod. Uh, if you're content creator out there, or if you just like to take screenshots and upload them maybe to a forum or, or show your friends how cool uh, some maybe in-game fight scenes are, this mod is super useful. So there's a lot of different uh, tools and uh, options with this mod. For example, I can press uh, the apostrophe button which will slow down and speed up time. Well, I say speed up, but it will, it will slow down or normalize it. So this is, if I press it to slow down, there we go. You can see how we're in slow motion now. Again, really, really nice function. Again, if I press apostrophe, we will just go back to normal. Um, another one is if I press uh, the open square bracket, I, I guess it's, well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's the one about the apostrophe, apostrophe, sorry. It's uh, just an open, square bracket um it completely pauses the game so again there is a photo mode built into the game but if you want to get some cool screenshots you can uh, you know do this uh, at the perfect time and <laughs> see inside your own head um now that's all cool and all but 
where's the actual camera bit? So if you press F10, there you go, you switch to a free camera. And you can fly around um, and you can get, you know, you can you can do whatever you want. Like I say, this may not appeal to everyone. Uh, this definitely is uh, the sort of mod which is uh, built for, like I say, those which really like the uh, artistic side of 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 the the game you know the being able to take screenshots or being able to uh, set up you know nice cinematics and stuff like that uh, more so than it is uh, for just a casual player however if it's something you enjoy i i for one do enjoy being able to fly around and uh, have a nice little pan over of my troops before uh, you know we go into battle it's quite a nice little mod now one thing to be aware of uh, when you do go into camera mode your lord which i'm currently paused if i unpause it your lord goes into ai mode um your an ai takes over your lord now thankfully nothing crazy is happening right now however it has been known to so okay so no it does work so there we go fuck it i'll cover this part of the mod as well so <laughs> What you can do while in the camera mode is also uh, control your troops. So you can press, you know, F1, F2, F3, F4, and you can choose where your troops go by clicking and dragging. So this literally turns the game into uh, Turtle War, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, let's get these archers. We'll set them up behind the infantry. There we go. We'll put them over there. And again, everything still applies. So pressing F1 and F3 while with the cavalry equipped will charge in the cavalry now they are javelin calves so they'll uh, majority use the javelins before actually charging in uh, one or two will go in uh, again pressing f4 uh, and charging in my archers will do the same thing now this is this is actually a lot better than uh, i originally thought uh, i think my lord's now in there so again just be careful your lord uh, will become ai and even though we've won uh, i don't know which where i am exactly but i am now in in the fight so just be just be warned about that i think that's me there um if that's something you can if that's something you're cautious about then by all means you know <laughs> keep uh, keep an eye out for that so that's a that's a really cool thing again you know if you wanted to set up formations you can you can put them into shield walls everything still applies now obviously they won't really be following my uh my command as much as we've won the battle but there you go so that's the rts mod really really simple again if you press l you can bring up a configuration configuration menu where you can choose how slow uh, things go down if, if it's constantly in slow motion mode um as well as there's so many other things like ignoring boundaries ignoring terrains so you can fly through the terrain if you want to um being able to change the height um player formation i believe this is what your character will be assigned to. Yeah, I believe this is what your character will be assigned to when um, you let when you let the AI take over. So currently, my character will go into a skirmisher role. So if you if you are a, a cavalry and you wanted to just focus like uh, on on the camera mod, you can put your dude. For example, I've got javelins and uh, and a bow and arrow. I could put my guy as a horse archer and have him go in with a horse cav. And, uh, and stuff like that again we can change uh, who we uh, look at we can control allies of dev there's so many different things you can you can again there's obviously cheap things as well you can switch teams if you wanted to you can make everyone invulnerable which uh, would really set up nicely again if you're a content creator or if you're just looking for cinematic shots to show your friends or put up, a for put up on a forum then this mod is really fucking nice uh, or if you just wanted to play it a little bit differently like with the uh, rts mode it actually has enabled you literally click f1 which you would use to control your infantry you click in your drag you're clicking your dragon which way they want to face and there you go so there you go that's another that's another in-game uh well in battle mod which is really really cool it's a massive help for me especially when i'm trying to create uh, thumbnails and stuff uh, so yeah, if it's something you're interested in there is another one now i was going to show the last battle mod but i can't uh, it literally will take two seconds to show this mod uh, so let me quickly hop into a another battle uh, and we'll show the fourth uh, but not the final mod uh, for this top five one well, not, not top five but definitely five really good mods uh, which definitely would uh, boost your experience in single player so let's hop into the uh, another another battle real quick okay so we're in the third and final battle to quickly showcase this mod so a lot of you already know what this one is if you watch my streams or uh, uh, watch my streams in the past uh you'll know that i've got a regenerative 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 healing mod 
Um, again, this really, really plays on the edge of cheats, uh, and this definitely may not be something which everyone would like. Uh, but to put into perspective, this really doesn't save you uh, as much uh, as you may think. Now, what the regenerative healing mod does is allows, oh boy, <laughs> allows uh, healing to take place. So normally, if you uh, take a hit, you have to wait outside the battle to regenerate health. Now, some people may like that. It's more realistic. However, uh, again, if you're a content creator or maybe you just like uh, the, the pace of battles to be a little bit uh, faster. Let me uh, just pause this because I don't want anyone to die before I actually get hurt. Um, Again, so if you if you know if you if you like uh, your battles to be a little bit more fast paced and you want to keep on uh, joining in, uh, then this mod may be for you. Now, there's been a number of times where I've joined in, for example, maybe uh, a cav charge, and there's been a random fucking infantry chump who's got God's gift in his hand and throws a javelin 350 fucking yards across a battlefield and miraculously hits my head takes me down to 15% health and that's me for the rest of the battle. What this mod is kind of, what this mod does is kind of negates that bullshit <laughs> by allowing you to regenerate health. Now if you were to get caught off, if you get dismounted or if you're on, on, on foot uh, and you go up against three or four dudes, you likely will die. This isn't going to save you. If you don't play carefully, you will die quite quite simply however what this like i say what this mod does is allow you to uh, regenerate health on the go it's not fast it's slow so if you play stupid or if you play too cocky you will die There's, it's not there to save you it's it's a it's a very it's a cheat it's a cheaty mod but it's probably one of the most balanced of the cheaty mods um, like I say, the, the rule of thumb I give with my streams, it just keeps my streams going. Instead of me having to sit in a settlement for five or six minutes to, to heal back to 100%, what this mod allows me to do is sit after the battle for a couple of seconds and regen my health. It also applies to horses as well. Um, so if your horse gets heavily hit, javelin to the face, again, you can, you, can re, uh, you can use this to heal your horse. You can cheese it. Obviously, this comes down to the type of player you are. However, there's nothing stopping me from getting five arrows to the face, running over to that side of the map and sitting there and re rehealing. If that's the type of player you are, that's the type of player you are. I'm not here to uh, judge. I, I don't care. I I'm just here to show uh, five of my top favorite mods, which I use in my single player experience to boost my single player experience. And I do feel like taking away uh, aspects uh, of uh, the, the waiting around is definitely a little bit of a boost for me, especially like say if I'm streaming it. Uh, it doesn't apply for heroes. Heroes will still uh, take an absolute fucking dick to the face. So if they do get smacked or javelined, that's it. They will go down. They don't regen health over the battlefield. It is only for you and your horse, and it's only for your horse when you're on your horse. So don't go leave your horse in the field expecting to heal and come back in, in a couple of minutes and be like, oh, it's full health. No, it'll still be like 5% health if it's just been jabbed in the face compared to uh, if you were to stay on it, it would be fully healed. So let me actually go uh, take a little bit of damage here and I'll quickly show you what it's actually like. Uh, it's really not that bad. Now, I'm I'm going to try and just run into these looters here. Now, they are only looters, so I don't know how much damage to do. Uh, okay, so my horse is taking a bit of a pounding. Now, again, this would scale a lot more when, it's, uh, when it comes to, like, um, actual good troops. But if you look at my health bars in the bottom right, you will see... Look how slow that is. I'm still taking ar arrows from... There you go. You see my hammer health is very slowly regening. And this only really matters when you're not in battle. You see? So those looters did all that damage to me. Now, again, I was playing like a bit of an idiot. I ran in there. I wasn't fighting back. I've got javelins. I've got burn. I've got uh, uh, arrows to use and stuff like that. So that's not a, a real good representation of what it actually is. Um, but it kind of shows you, there you go, my, my health is now fully regen. Uh, my horse's health, on the other hand, hasn't fully regen so far. So again, it's not fast. It's really not that fast. And if I get shot in the head by a javelin or, or a crossbow and my health goes down to 5% health, you can see the, the time it would take for me to regen my health. Uh, and it'd be quite a consider considerable amount. 
Uh, so there we go, that's all the in-game battle mods. There is one more mod which I feel would really boost your single player experience. Uh, and that actually takes place on the home screen, I believe. So let me uh, quickly finish off these chunks. Uh, we'll just, just get one in there. To be fair, let's, uh, let's just go javelin them. <laughs> javelin these boys. I missed. <laughs> nice. I missed again. <laughs> nice. There we go. So you can see my horse is almost dead. Uh, I, I'm confident that they're going to run before my horse actually dies, so I'm not too worried about this. And the good thing about horses is they do regen, regen health fully after the battle, regardless. I think all dead. There we go. Okay, so let's hop over to uh, the um, home screen and show you this last uh, mod. So this has been the um, RTS mod, the... Um, uh, uh, the, the regenerative healing mod and also the uh, minimap mod. So that's, uh, that's our four mod so far. Let's hop on to the last one. Okay, so here we are on the main menu. Um, so the last option, there are other mods to uh, make, basically make these uh, mods work. Again, if anyone's ever confused, I can easily make you a video showing you how to install mods. I use the installer. Install is super easy. You don't have to do it any manually. It's all automatic. And I can also show you the load order, the load order um, so you know you know where to put your mods and stuff to make everything work. Uh, again, you really have to understand the compatibility issues. Some of your mods may just not work with other mods. However, if it's ever a con ever a concern, I will happily make a video or answer your concerns about any uh, any mods and any conflicts which may not uh, which may make your mods not work with one another. So the last mod we've got is. Uh, the customized leveling rates. Now, I kind of feel sometimes with certain uh, certain aspects of uh, leveling, it can be a little bit slower, especially if you uh, have played this game a lot, you may not want to start again because you'd be like, oh God, I've got my character leveled up so much uh, and you know, I, I can't be asked to level them up again. You know, I've already got really good skills. Uh, I've got really good weapons and armor, you know, and that obviously comes through with playing. But what this, uh, allows you to do is kind of change uh, how much XP you earn by doing different things. Now, this is really confusing for me, to me. Uh, this really comes down to you just trialing an error. Um, there's not really much going on on the mod page for uh, explaining this. Um, if you know this, then by all means, that's great. Uh, I mean, if you hover over it, it says exponential uh, total level formula A uh, times B. Uh, yeah, change the total level formula to use exponential model. Yeah, if you understand that, if you're a math, math genius, that's fine. I'm a dumbass, and so I don't know. Uh, learning limit, however, I do know. I do speak uh, simple English. Um, uh, and so what? What? <laughs> this really comes down to a bit of trial and error. Uh, in the first time, the first time I set up a character, uh, I leveled up incredibly quickly to the point where I was like a kill would love them up like 30 times in 200. Probably don't put it to that kind of rate. This is an okay rate for me. I, I level up quite nicely, quite a lot. Not too much. I mean, you'll see my two-handed is um, in, 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 the, uh, in the other mod showcases I've done so far. You, you can see my, my two-handed level is pretty high. However, that's only because I've been messing around with some, some, of, the, uh, some of the mods and I've been cheating basically to get it that high. So don't worry about, you know, me having 200 or 300 uh, two-handed skill. That literally is just me cheating. <laughs> so you don't need to worry about that. So, again, you can really slide these up and down, quickly, quickly create a new character, get into a battle, and see how it changes. Um, this is a nice little thing I like to get. I like to get. It allows you to um, get more uh, focus points and, again, more attribute, attribute points. Uh, so, for example, if you put a when you level up you get a focus point you can put that into whatever you want i'll for example use the example of uh, archery i'll whack it into archery and it will give me maybe a two times boost to that to that skill right so i'll learn that skill two times two times faster what this does uh, i've put it from 10 to 2 
uh, 10 to 20, sorry. So what this does is basically you double that. So instead of two times, I'll get four times loading rate. And it, it keeps on multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. So if you put all your focus points into, say, two-handed, you'll level up two-handed incredibly quickly. And also with focus points. Now, focus points, I put a little bit more into focus points. 40, 45 from 30, the default, default is 30. Again, this is only because you only get focus points... Um, Oh no, focus points. Focus points is the one. So, focus, sorry. Focus points is the one you get every time you level up. Attribute points is the one you get every four levels. So, attributes is doubled, and focus points is only um, 15, uh, 15 more instead of doubled. So, yeah. It's, it's, so, this is basically 1.5. You get 1.5 more learning speed, and you get two times more learning speed. So, basically, it just allows you to learn what you want to learn faster by doing stuff like this. Uh, again, there's a, a lot more going on here uh, but this really comes down to you testing out the sliders max level you can change to max level default is only currently 63 which is really low i put mine up to 200 however if you wanted to go to 1024 you could go up to 1024 <laughs> i mean i don't think you will get to 1024 i don't think i'll get to 200 but you know the options there so there you go that is five mods which i think ha really really do help with uh, boosting in very small linear ways your single player experience again if you're going for a vanilla or a modded playthrough all of these mods should work i don't think any of these mods will not work um ge the general rule of thumb is if you've got two mods which change something which is very similar it won't work it will be not compatible for example um, if you've got one mod which adds uh, a new kingdom uh, and new castles in the southeast and you've got another mod which adds uh, a new kingdom and new castles and stuff like that in the southwest the mod will likely clash and will not be compatible however none of these mods really should clash with anything like that uh, to my experience i've had all these mods on and none of these mods have been the cause of any clashes any crashes anything like that these mods are fine from experience um for example uh, an example would be if, for example if you was to use a different uh, minimap mod uh, obviously I don't know why you'd download two uh, but if you were to use a different minimap mod it would like a clash and crash your game so obviously choose one not both it's up to you however this is the one I use and this is a showcase of the one I use and how good it is so there you go that is five mods which really do uh, boost your experience uh, with single player as ever the mods will all be in the description as listed in this showcase so it'll be you know in order if you want to check them out, please do go down below. They are really cool mods. Uh, definitely worth your time if there is something which interests you. Uh, but thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't liked already, uh, please do leave me a like. Sub if you haven't also. That would be uh, much appreciated. Share this with your friends and family. Get your mum involved. Get your dad involved. They need to know about these mods. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but thank you everyone for watching. My name's been Ruku. Has always been Ruku. Still is Ruku. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the uh, next one. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Bye.